Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to use the 28BYJ48 stepper motor using the ULN2003 stepper motor driver. So in most cases you discover that we don't connect a motor directly to any microcontroller. For example, in this case we are using an Arduino board, you cannot connect this stepper motor directly to the board because the motor uses a lot of current which exceeds the limit of the microcontroller and also the motor produces a back EMF which can easily destroy the input and output ports of the microcontroller therefore you always need to use drivers when you're going to use motors I have talked about other types of motors like the servo motor and the DC motor so I would like to talk about this stepper motor Usually stepper motors are used in applications where you need to have some gearing and micro stepping for example 3D printers, CNC machines, DVD drives and even analog clocks. They can give you precise location rotation but they don't move very fast like DC motors. To be able to connect this motor to the Arduino you have to use a motor driver in this case this is our ULN2003 stepper motor driver and it contains a Darrington array IC this one so that IC contains seven open collector Darrington pairs with common emitters so if you want to know more about the Darrington arrays and transistors and other stuff you can look through the link in the description I put below and you go and read more about this IC so this driver like you can see this is where the motor is connected these are the connections from the motor then the output is this side you can see this in one in two in three in four so this output is connected to the microcontroller in this case you're using the Arduino so we are going to be connecting the outputs into the microcontroller then these leds are the ones which show you the state of the coils inside the motor so they light according to how the coils are being energized inside the motor to enable rotation so you'll be seeing that then this side we have the power supply to the motor like i've said the motor uses more current than the microcontroller so you should never supply any motor with the same power source or the same current as the microcontroller so in this case for example i'm going to be supplying a, the arduino board from my laptop but that current cannot drive this motor because it's only using five volts it's more than it's more than five volts so i'll be supplying it from an external source of around 9 to 12 volts so for example here from here you, you see here we have 5 12 volts but this has to be an external supply so i'm going to uh, include uh, here i have an external power supply this is the ground and this is the vcc and then this vcc has to have a common vcc with the arduino board i'm going to be putting a schematic so that you can be able to follow along and make your connections accordingly so now i'm going to upload a simple program to show how the motor can be able to rotate in clockwise and anti-clockwise direction so let me upload you can check the description for the link for the code so now i've uploaded the code and as you see the motor is not rotating input simple a simple paper cutting so that you can be able to see the motor rotating so i've uploaded the code but the motor is not rotating and that's because the current that i've provided to the board is not enough to run both the microcontroller and the motor so i need to put an external power source to be able to drive the motor so you see when i put the external power source the motor is now running and then this side the leds light according to the movement of the motor 
but of course you cannot see them properly they appear as if they are all on but they keep on lighting different patterns but because yeah the motor is moving very fast so the LEDs are changing very fast you cannot observe the movement yeah. so now let's do some other interesting thing here so now i can show how to control this motor using a simple ir remote i already talked about how to use the remote so in this case to be able to use the remote we are just going to be including an ir receiver like here as you can see we have put an ir receiver in our circuit and i'm going to be putting a schematic up there so you can check and see how the connection is done i've already talked about how to decode the IR receiver and the remote so here we're just going to be applying so what i've done here i've programmed my arduino so that i whenever i press one the motor can move in a clockwise direction and i press two it moves in the anti-clockwise direction so let's upload the program and test and see what happens so i've now uploaded my program and let me put the power supply to the motor which is here and i put this so that i can be able to see the rotation of the motor yeah so now i finished the connection properly so when you press one the motor moves in the clockwise direction for around five seconds then I press 2, moves in the anti-clockwise direction. Yeah, something very simple. So you can program the remote and add even other buttons, maybe for increasing and decreasing the speed and maybe for stopping the motor, depending on what you want. Otherwise, the process is not very hard. Hope you have enjoyed the tutorial thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and like my videos